This must have been very hard for Andrew Scheer. After all, the Conservatives won the popular vote in the last election. They approved their seat count. They reduced the Liberals to a minority government. That should have been considered a good result. And that is what Andrew Scheer was trying to convince Canadians and members of his own party on election night. But let's remember this feeling. Coming close, but falling just short. And let's use it as fuel to redouble our efforts. Because our work is not over, Canadians are counting on us. But he failed to convince them because he failed to convince suburban voters in Ontario where elections are won and lost. There was no reason to believe he would be any more successful next time. Serving as leader of the party that I love so much has been the opportunity and challenge of a lifetime. By leaving now, he keeps the party united and focused on choosing the leader with the best chance of defeating Justin Trudeau's Liberals in the next election. There will be plenty of speculation about who the next leader might be. MP Aaron O'Toole of Durham is a possibility, as is former interim leader Ronna Ambrose, if she wants it. And then there is the evergreen Peter McKay of Nova Scotia. But the party should focus less on who the leader should be and more on what that leader should stand for. Stephen Harper left a Conservative Party founded on certain principles. Smaller government, lower taxes, fewer regulations, strong emphasis on law and order, respect for provincial rights, but a respect also for the right of an individual to love whom they choose and to have complete control over their own body. But one thing we can say with confidence, the hill that Justin Trudeau must climb to win re-election is steeper today than it was yesterday.